Well, the death of actor Philip Seymour Hoffman now renewing that uh, big debate over whether drug dealers and others can now be charged with murder when somebody ends up dying from a drug overdose. And here to talk about this issue is Chicago attorney Dahlia Saper. Thank you very much for taking time to come down and join us. Thank you for having me, John. Well, you know, prosecutors in New Jersey now, they uh, want to charge drug dealers and those who make uh, the illegal drugs with murder if somebody ends up dying from those products. So let's talk about this. We briefly were discussing this. How much liability can somebody who sells drugs or makes drugs be, be held for? Well, we have a whole slew of laws on the books for, dr for drug dealers, right? If you sell drugs, you know you're going to go to prison, and the penalty can be anywhere from probation to several or maximum, you know, 30, 40, 50 years or life in prison. The issue now with the death of celebrities is how much more liable can we make drug dealers be? Should we not only be suing them or charging them for drug dealing but also for murder and when you when you do that you really have to analyze if there's an intent what state legislators like New Jersey, New Jersey are doing are saying we don't want to go through that route we don't want to have to show intent and go through the greater challenge of charging someone with murder it's strict liability the the fine the penalty is 30 plus years and hopefully this will allow the people lower on the food chain of the, the distribution chain of the drug dealers to take pause and say, well, I don't know if I'm going to take this heroin and sell it to my friend Bobby, that means I may be strictly liable for, for murder and I have to go to jail for or prison for 30 plus years. A lot of opinions on all sides of this. Uh, it brings to mind the question, where do you draw the line for personal responsibility and criminal activity when it comes down to drugs being distributed and somebody may be dying? It's a societal problem and we pass statutes to address these issues. Of course everyone is responsible for their own actions. We want people to be accountable for their own actions. But we pass laws as a society to ensure that there is some deterrent to make those who are most vulnerable to perhaps drug abuse, to not make it so accessible to them to, to get the drugs that are causing them to overdose and to act irresponsibly. And so uh, we, don't, we know that everyone is personally liable. We do have laws in the books to deter the enablers. If drug manufacturers uh, can't be held liable for murder, let's say, uh, can they still be taken to court and be sued over something like that? Yeah, well, there are uh, little, off, often little, like little used statutes on the books that allow attorneys to go after drug dealers for civil liability. That means just money. And they kind of mirror Dram Shop Act laws. You know, if bars overserve someone, I don't know if you know this, but if bars overserve you and someone gets in a car accident or there's an injury as a result, Bars can be held liable, for I example. I wasn't aware of that, no. Yeah. So there's a statute on books, the Drug Dealer Liability Act, that says that family members of people who've died from overdoses or who are going to rehab or getting therapy can now sue the drug dealer, if you can, again, show the chain between the drug dealer and the person who overdosed, and say, you know, you need to give me economic damages, the money I lost from not being able to go to work, the money I had to pay to the doctors, to the rehab, and hopefully that will deter the institution of drug dealing from, from again, putting drugs into the system. But clearly a lot of elements involved in this one and not an easy way to, to decide one way or the other how this is going to happen. So That's each right. state will kind of have to decide this, right? But it is a state-by-state -state thing, and depending on where you are, the statutes may be there or they may not be, and the prosecutor may be inclined, if, let's say, heroin abuse is a big problem, to go after you both for felony murder or under strict liability statutes. All right, Dolly Safer, thanks for all the insight. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate that. If we uh, dig into this further, we'll have you back. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Tamara?